And now at home, some good news for residents of California City. Proposed cuts to public safety services will now be on hold. That's right. A city council meeting wrapped up in the early morning hours. 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart has more on what came out of that meeting and its impact on residents in Cal City. Good morning, Emma. Yeah, Jada and Faven, that meeting wrapped up at 1230 this morning, lasting more than six hours. But for residents in Cal City, that means a reprieve for the police and fire departments. Earlier this month, voters in Cal City failed to pass a tax that, according to a report from the city manager, funds the majority of the city's general fund. With that tax failing, city manager Bob Stockwell prepared a report to the city council detailing the massive cuts facing the city. On the table, cuts to the police department would have seen the elimination of 12 of 16 sworn officers, and the fire department would have gone from a 17-person crew to a 7-person department. But in the early hour mornings, the city council voted against Stockwell's proposal. It's hard for a lot of people to recognize is literally uh, seven million dollars evaporated because that money will never come back. The tax that could have been levied this year is just gone forever and that's you know that impact is massive. Cuts the city council decided to hold workshops to try and come up with other solutions to help with the budget. Those workshops will begin May 2nd. We have a full list of those workshop dates along with a detailed proposal from the city manager, Bob Stockwell, on our website, turn to 23.com. Live in studio, Emma Lockhart, 23 ABC News. Thanks, Emma.